Production Live here with Glenn Gaylord, the producer, writer, and lyricist of Leave It on the Floor. Glenn, how are you enjoying TIFF so far? Well, you know, I'm like the whitest guy on earth and I made an African-American musical and so I like to say that TIFF is the spliff <laughs> or it's like a really good spliff. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and how was your screening last night? We had an incredible screening last night. We have three at TIFF, and, uh, but last night we were at the Scotiabank Theater. It's got this escalator that's like the longest thing in the world. I call it the escalator to heaven or hell depending on your persuasion. And uh, we were full. We had this epic after party where we had a mini ball and our film is about the Vogue ball community and uh, it was just amazing you know it's like you hear the Toronto audiences are a little bit more reserved than others but you know we brought out the big girl and everybody wonderful and can you tell me a little bit about your inspiration for writing this film well I was approached six years ago by Sheldon Larry who was really really influenced by the documentary Paris is burning from 20 years ago mm -hmm. and uh, he and I had a mutual friend who is a uh, TV producer, writer, who put us together, said, you should meet Sheldon, uh, he's not a writer, and you're a writer-director, and the two of you should collaborate, you, I think you'd get along. And so Sheldon read some of my writing, really loved it, and approached me and said, do you know that there's this ball community still going on that was like 20 years ago in Paris is Burning? I had no idea. And, and I said, well, why me? Like, why would you come after me to write this? You know, I'm so not that guy that writes about this culture and uh, he says I really like your writing and I started to really examine that I've um, always written about the underdog always written about people that never get to be the star of their own films mm -hmm. and their center stage and I've championed that and so I said this is actually fits right in and so he took me to balls and I got sucked right in I mean this is amazingly talented vibrant uh, community of people who are usually cast aside yeah. and uh, they express themselves because a lot of them come from such oppressive environments they express themselves so beautifully to show their who they truly are underneath and I couldn't I couldn't walk away from that that was great wonderful and can you tell me a bit about the music and the dance in the film and who you collaborated with on that yeah I mean we were really lucky I mean this is like the tiny little movie with no budget and Sheldon pursued Kimberly Burse who is Beyonce's music director and uh, just hounded her and hounded her for months trying to get a meeting with her and she uh, was just really interested in this and she had been doing Beyonce's work for years and a number of other high profile artists like that but had never done a film musical or a score like this and so she was in and so she brought along Beyonce's band to play on the soundtrack and I was just like you know my jaw dropped because I'm like oh my god you guys are famous I see you in all these videos wow. you're kick ass and you're playing on our movie and uh, yeah. Then uh, she brought along Frank Gatson Jr., who's the choreographer, and he most famously choreographed Beyonce's Single Ladies video. Oh, wow. Can you do the moves? Ah, uh, Come on. No. Oh, 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 you know that one, yeah. right? So, <laughs> yes, you, you saw the most embarrassing choreography right here first. Um, Katie, <laughs> folks, Katie. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> That's amazing. So, and so we, yeah, it was all of a sudden we had this like A-list group of people helping us out and giving everything to us, so, you know, and just really giving their all and it shows on screen we're just it was a thrilling collaboration I wrote a demo of how I thought the music sounded in my head and recorded it because I wrote all the lyrics and I had music in my head handed it off to Kim I said do with it what you want if something inspires you go with it if not go with it you know whatever your muse is mm -hmm. and luckily she used a couple of the tunes that were in there right. and so we share the music credits on those songs and then the rest of them she would just like give us these little presents every few days like what do you think of this it's like a hip-hop number instead of the rock number that's on your demo oh, and I'm like oh my god that's like the greatest thing I've ever heard <laughs> so it was kind of like that Wow, that's amazing <laughs> yeah. and do you have any upcoming projects that we should look out for as well I am in pre-production on a movie that I'm directing mm -hmm. in like four weeks um, it's called I Do, and uh, it's uh, about, it's the issue of gay marriage as told through um, a whole bunch of people. It's a, it's a guy who's from England who's not a U.S. citizen who marries um, a lesbian pal of his, co-worker, to get his green card so he can take care of his sister-in-law and niece okay. when his brother, um, uh, he loses his brother in the opening act. And so he's got a motivation to want to stay in the country. But then the um, INS starts closing in on him and his marriage. And at the meantime, he falls in love with a guy. And so the choices he makes affects everybody around him. And so he kind of like messes up a lot of people's lives in the process. And it's like this very intricate 
uh, very tersely written drama that I think is going to be very cool and powerful. Wonderful. And is there a website where we can check out both films? Well, you know, the easiest way, you know, these days is Facebook, right? Yeah. You know, like we're old Facebook pals now, right? <laughs> so, you know, go to I Do The Movie on Facebook or go to Leave It On The Floor on Facebook. You'll find us. You'll see all the links for everything else on Twitter, etc. You know, just like tweet around. Use your thumbs, folks. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Glenn. And best of luck this afternoon at your screening for Leave It On The Floor. Thank you. Thank you. This thank is a you. pleasure. Okay, great. Hi, Canada. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live.